Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. I'm really curious today. Yesterday was the official unveiling, the unboxing of the Apple Vision Pro. I watched all the unboxing videos. It's early morning. I'm at the gym. I'm really curious to see if the Apple effect has got people curious. So I'm going to be doing a workout today in the Quest 3 at the gym. Now this looks very similar to the Apple Vision Pro with the uh, with the cover on the front. If you watch the unboxing videos, they come with like a white cover over the front. I've used this a few times at the gym and I want to judge to see if people recognize the headset a bit more or if they're a bit more curious because they've seen the, uh, the Apple news. I'm not expecting anyone to come up to me and talk to me with the pass through mode. I can judge people around me, seeing if a lot more people are watching me, that sort of thing. I also have to ask the question as well, would you wear the £4,000 headset at the gym? As far as I know anyway, the Apple Vision Pro doesn't have any fitness apps. Nothing compared to what's on the Quest 3 at the moment. I've got about five, six different fitness apps on this headset I can use at the gym. I guess for now the Apple Vision Pro would be a device you could use on the row machines or the, the bicycle machines watching movies. It doesn't really have any boxing apps that I can see from the, the videos I watched yesterday. And from the videos I watched yesterday, this little headset can do exactly the same thing and it's 3000 plus cheaper. How's it going? I'm Dan. I'm going to take you through some of the basic strikes. Let me start with two stances. The first one is what we call our front stance. So the feet are wide in the shoulders, the chest is up, bend your knees, embrace your abs. The second is our combat stance, either left leg forward or right leg forward, and then just distribute your weight forward and back. We've got a couple of strikes. The first is the jab, and the second is a cross. The jab will always come off the front arm, so rotate your shoulders, the cross always off the back arm, and you can do that in front stance or in combat stance. So why don't you? So let's start in a left combat stance. Put your hands up, and already we're gonna throw a left jab, that's purple. And now green, let's throw a right cross. Awesome. Tuck your chin down. Little tempo, turn the shoulders, awesome flick, extend. Did you hit the middle of the target there? Great, so let's try it on the other side. Right stance, hands up, good, lean forward and strike. Soften the knees, release the back heel. Excellent, you've got this, this is perfect. Just keep the elbow soft, awesome. The harder you punch the targets, the bigger the rings you'll see exploding out of it. So strike hard and give it all you've got. Let me take you through the uppercuts and hooks, my favorite. Starting with the uppercut, you can do it from front stance or a combat stance. Put your hands up, we lean to one side and we come up and under and you'll see the targets, they change direction. Now for the hooks, circular punches, the targets come in so we've got to come around. Just notice how the knuckle sits in line with the shoulder. So why don't you give that a try? All right, so we're gonna do this in a front stance. So feet nice and wide. Here's that first move. It's an uppercut, left arm. And now your right arm. So load, bend, and lift up. Now hook, so we wanna preload, so we rotate inwards. And now your right side, turn inwards. Excellent. Let's go back to the uppercut. Roll shoulders forward. 
And now hooks, turn body, release heel. One big one. Now it. You're a professional already. Let me take you through squat and slips. Now you've got horizontal walls. They come directly at you. You've got to squat down. So you've got to get your shoulders out of the way. You've got to get your head out of the way. You push your knees out towards your little toes, lift your chest and brace your abs. And now you're powering out of your legs. Now those walls, they might get lower and lower. So you've got to get deeper. The other one are vertical walls. So you can be in a combat stance, wait for them to come and you've just got to get your shoulders out the way. You don't need to move your feet, just enough to work the muscles in your core. So why don't you give that a try? Into a front stance. All right, the wall's coming on your right, which means you've got to slip to your left. So move your shoulders out the way and change direction. And now wide squat. Stand up, slip to your left, go. To your right, squat down, chest up, brace abs. Now, lean to your left and hold. Hold, 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 hold. Lean to your right and hold. Awesome, now you're gonna squat down and stay down. Stay down, brace your abs, and then lift up nice and tall. Awesome, yeah, great movements. Let me take you through sky punches and hammer fists, otherwise known as the battle rope slams. The sky punches, we want to start in a wide stance. Lift your chest, you brace your abs, the tiger comes over the line of your shoulders and your head and you strike, boom, directly up. Now you might be doing that with one arm or both arms. Now the hammer fist, we want to be striking with the outer part of the fist, the little fingers, and that might be sides or even down. And so if it's battle ropes, imagine you've got a heavy rope, brace your abs and slam. So why don't you give that a try? All right, so let's practice those strikes. From a wide front stance, it's a left sky punch. You ready? Left hand, now. Same thing on the right. Both hands together, center of the target. Yeah, you nailed it. All right, so we're gonna change it up. These are hammer fists. Bending at the elbow, striking down like you're gonna beat a drum. You ready? Left hand now. Right side, you've got this. Both hands together and pow. <laughs> All right, left to the side, right to the side. Both hands out to the side. Now let's just finish above your head. Go. Yeah, really good stuff. All right, let's, because it's your time to get in that light and get that intensity. All right, team, let's get into a stance, combat stance. That's your left foot forward, your hands nice and high, left jab. Ready? Now, right cross, left uppercut, right uppercut. So as you can see, the purple on the left, the green on the right. So take your time and aim the center of the fist into the center of the target. It's a little bit of rhythm, now left hook. Turn the hip, release the heel as you rotate into the punch. Nice, well done. Okay, a little bit faster, left, right. Good, got a combo going now. Bang, bang, ow, boom, boom. Today's going down. All right, we're gonna move the shoulders now. Prepare to slip right and now slip left. That's right, you're in the boxing ring, so you gotta let those punches slip by the side of your face. So roll your shoulders forward, crunch your core, bend your knees, tuck your chin. Should we try some punches? Left hook, right hook, two slips. Like they're doing the movies, those sweet little combos. Now it's your turn, left, right, slip right, left. So you're standing your ground, but you're rolling your shoulders and dodging those strikes. Dodge them. Can you feel it in your core? Inhale, exhale. All right, jab, cross, uppercut. Two hooks, two slips. Big combo. All right, so people, we've just done it. Now we're gonna do it without stopping. Big combo, jab, cross, left, right. Lean in, center of the target. Roll the shoulders under, hips turn, slip, slip. Boom, boom, pow, left, right. Are you using your legs? Don't hold your breath, eh? Inhale, exhale, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on, hold on, hold on. Do it like they do in the movies. All right, squat down, bend your knees, toes out. 
stand up, double sky punch. Now you're going to go up and out, left side, up, out, hammer fist. Hey, so use the little finger on the hammer fist, like you're stamping the side wall. Hey, nice. Oh, yeah. Put your right leg forward, put your dukes up. We do it all again. Is this your best side? Right jab. Left cross. Right upper. Left upper. The thing I love about this workout is everything is balanced. What you do on one side, you do on the other. So find that rhythm. Wait for all the targets to come at you at the very last possible moment. And so these hooks, they want to be circular in nature, but strong and powerful in feeling. Are you ready to pick up some pace now? Yep, one and two. Do that again. After you've hit the second target, bring your hands back to a high guard position. We call that the reset. Hit, hit. Now you're slipping to your left. Keep your feet still, slip right. Naturally, you want to move your feet, but keep them. Just plant them, stay in your stance. Trust yourself. Just move the shoulders and your guard out the way. If you feel a little vibrate, that's to tell you that you didn't move your shoulders enough. All right? Try it, come on, circular. Move your shoulders. See, there wasn't a, there wasn't that little vibrate, eh? Don't let it scare you. Don't worry about that. Come on, let's bring the combo, but let's bring some power. Reach, reach, under, under, circular. Slip, slip, do it again. As you see the target come at you, try and get the end range of your fist. Now, boom. Good, so you're fully extending your strikes, but keeping the elbows soft. On the uppercuts, you're rolling the shoulder, you're coming up and under, and on the hooks, you release and roll into the strike. Power shot, power shot, raw power, raw power, circular, circular, can't catch me, go. Yeah, great, this is really great stuff. Combos are building up, scores building up. Now squat down, stand up, double sky punch. Beautiful. Chest up, brace abs. Right side, right side. Good. Double. Now you're going to go left up, left out. This is the finish. Hit the blue one. Boom! You mastered it. Very good. Are you willing to take the next challenge? Let's see. Boxing is going to be our predominant discipline. We're going to start with our left leg forward, and I'm going to support you all the way through. So we've got a left jab and a right cross. Full range, soft elbows, no power, but it does set you up for a jab, cross, jab. Let's go. Left, right, left. Now uppercut, one left, one right on the rhythm. Back, 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 turn, in and up. Short range, vertical strikes, elbows into the rib cage. Full body training. Oh, yeah. Now we're moving on. Hook left and right. Slip right and left. Hook left and right, but this time you've got to squat down. Get out of the way. <laughs> Stand up, sky punch. Back to the slip so your feet stay still. You only move your shoulders. Drop your butt back and down on the squat. Now, as you hit the sky punch, try and get the hands directly above the line of the head, and you can actually do that quite fast. That's it. Play with it. Take your time. And now, jab and cross. We're here for about 25 seconds or so. Tuck your chin. Let's start now hitting the center of the target. We want to get the heart rate up. Work out in the shoulders, the muscles of the back. This is the knee. I love this move. We need to grab with both hands now. Pull left knee up. So you're bringing the arms down past the line of the thigh as the knee goes directly up. It's a little bit like the elbows and the knee almost meet. Now you can pull the arms down fairly quickly. Ready? Go. Down fast as the knee comes up. Lean away from the strike. We're going to do all that again on the other side. All right? Shake it off. You've got this. Jab and cross. Right and left. Go. Cruise. Cruise. Now rotate the knuckles in and down so the elbow slightly goes to the outside. That's going to work more muscles in the upper part of the shoulder and in turn bring more power. Jab, cross, jab and hold followed by the two uppercuts. Turn under. Now let's start using hips and legs for the uppercut. So bend the knees and then as the tight comes in and up, start to stand up a little higher. Alright, now those power hooks, right and left. 
slip left and right. Back to the power hook, and then squat down, stand up with a sky punch. On your own. Feels good, right? You can almost see yourself a little bit in the shadow wall. Don't forget to smile. I think anytime you smile, <laughs> or is it a grimace, makes things feel a little bit better, right? Excellent work. All right, jab and crosses now. So because it's a basic move, very simple, all we want to do is now commit to try and get the heart rate up. So tuck your chin, start to hit the center of the target. Come on, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself, hit it harder. You've got it, come on, hit it harder. Awesome. Breathe, here comes the right knee. Put more weight on your back foot to help you balance. Lift the chest, pull the arms down. Now brace your abs really hard because you're going to lean away a little bit. That's going to support the spine. So the knee comes directly forward of your hip. That's going to give you great alignment. Awesome work. Now, last part. Wide front stance. Here it comes. Here it comes. Punch it. Hooks. Now, battle rope slams together, together. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hook left and right. The battle rope slams, they must start high above the line of the shoulder, and then both hands come down past the outer part of your thighs. So you're bending your knees, you're bracing your abs, and it's like you're trying to slam or throw something down to the ground. Come on, you've got this one. You finish with a power left hook. Great work. Here it comes, you're gonna love it. You're gonna start in a left combat stance. We've got some basic combinations. Love the rhythm. We're gonna be starting with some slips. To the right, to the left, and then a jab cross hook. Let's go, slip right, slip left. Now jab cross hook, repeat that, go. You don't need to move your Release the hip and heel. All right, we're moving on. Squat down, sky punch. Down and up. Down and up, we're gonna be here for a while. You just need to squat down enough so your shoulders get underneath that wall. And as you stand up, drive the punches high above the head. Lift your chest, brace your abs, and as you squat down, imagine you're sitting back in a seat. So use the muscles of your legs to drive yourself up. Let's go back to the slips, right, left, and the punches. Jab, cross, and hook. Squat down. Whoa, we put it together. I told you we got combos. On the jab, cross, hooks. Next time, you're going to add as much power as possible. I've got another move coming at you. It's a knee. Grab, pull, knee for left. Grab, pull, knee for right. Take the shoulders back and brace your abs. That's going to support your lower back. Now reach high. And as the knee comes up, Pull your hands really quickly down. That's gonna register a big strike. You're gonna get more points. You increase power and the heart rate goes up. Slip right, slip left, let's go. Now hit the center of the target like I was saying before. Squat down, stand up, sky punch. Yes, grab for left knee. Grab for right knee. You get it. You absolutely get it. Now hold on. We're gonna start to build up a little bit of fatigue. You know why? Because we're training, we're exercising. Whilst you feel like you're in this incredible environment, this virtual reality world, you're still here because you wanna train and I'm guessing you wanna have a whole heap of fun. Tag Rach, you're it. Ah, oh, damn, nobody normally gets me because I'm so fast, but as soon as you got me, I better get to the mahi. 
Let's do the work. Combat stance, right foot forward. What you got, people? We're gonna start with slip left, slip right, and jab cross hook. Go. Right, left, right. So you've done all these combos before. A bit more familiar. Let's get some confidence. Plant your feet, squat, damn, sky punch. Next level, yeah, you said it, and now we're gonna get it. So take your feet wider, and that gives you a little bit of a stronger base to get down. There you go. Narrow squat, you're gonna have to get lower. Wide squat, it's not quite as far. Now drive through the heels and push them into the floor as you pump your hands above your head and smash the sky punch. All right, slip time. It's combos. Left, right, jab, cross, hook. Squat, sky punch. Oh, did you just smash that target big time? Points. Points mean prizes. Well done. Now these knees can be tricky. We're gonna go front knee, back knee. Hold the target, wait for the trail, smash it down. Wait, 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 go! Back knee, wait, 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 go! Front knee, yeah! Pull down, drive it. And then slam them down the side of your thighs. And slam them down the side of your thighs! Bring your heel to your glutes. Squeeze your tummy. Combo. Slip it. Punch it. Squat. Smash it. Oh, hey, there's a the tune. Front knee. Oh, hey, back knee. Ah, oh, yeah, these ones are tricky, eh? But practice is going to give us that confidence. And then with confidence, knowing you can smash it means you will. You got this. Come on. You might miss one, but you'll get the next one. Well done. Now get those shoulders rolling forward and back. Smooth. Legs getting tired? Yeah, that's okay. That's normal. That's what we're doing. That's what we're here for. Putting the work in. Getting the training out. Back knee. Hey, nice work, team. Well done. There is some serious leg training happening in this workout. I can't wait to see it. Well, don't worry, it's here. Get ready, big squat. Knees out, toes out. Drive up, do it again. Big deep breaths. We're going down, but we're not gonna let ourselves down. We're gonna fight the resistance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big breath, drive up. Let's go. Left jab, right jab. Left jab. Ooh, some serious beats in here. A bit trancy, eh? Left uppercut, right uppercut. So remember, with the uppercuts, we roll the shoulders forwards and back. And with the jabs, we're going to go left, right. And we're going to bring the shoulders forwards. And then the uppercuts, shoulders forwards and back. A little bit of rotation to bring that core activation. Well done. You've got this. Now jab. Left, right. Left, right. Bit of a combo, a little one-two action. Bit of confidence builder, nice. Hit the center of the target, roll the knuckle over. Soft elbow, here comes the wall. Get down, knees out, toes out. It's oh, a big one. Breathe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come up, come up, come up. Good, good, nice. All right, let's change the stance. Let's give ourselves a fighting chance. Left foot forward. Strong foundation, hands up, hands up, brace the core. Left jab, right cross, power long into that target. Imagine smashing through that target. Big circles, big points. Turn the core, release the heel, right uppercut. So the uppercut off the back arm, notice how the hip has to drive from the back to the front of the room. There's some big power, big points. 
I see a wall. Do you? Get down. Wide stance. Left sky punch. Right slip. Right uppercut. We're setting you up for a combo. Get down. Drive up. Booyah! We're going to pick up the tempo. It's not so fast, but it's fast enough. Down up. Now slip right. Uppercut. And do that uppercut again. So two and two. You know what to do? Find that rhythm. So we're working on rhythm and timing. Leg work. When you move your legs, there's a big cardio response. They're a big muscle group. They really are getting into that heart rate training now. Finding that target, locking on. Nice work. Let's do some more. Two punches. Now we're going to hit one uppercut and one cross. Here comes the cross. Boom. Do the middle. Now jab, cross. One, two. Back to the one, two. Bit looser. Bit more core rotation. Bit more power, baby. Pow, pow. Pew, pew. Flurry time, get down! Hold on. I think Dan's coming through to carry you home. Slowly stand up. Shake your legs. Wow! We're gonna do everything on the right hand side. Okay, nice deep breaths. You've got this. I know you're still smiling. Put your boxing guard up. Power right jab. Left cross. Now lean into the strike and keep your chin tucked in. Beautiful. Transfer the weight, forward and back. All right, uppercut off the back arm. We're just maintaining this back arm power. Anything off the back arm is all based on power. Anything off the front arm is speed. They're the two training tips for you for this track. Now we're squatting down, right sky punch. Beautiful, slip to your left, power, left uppercut. Now pace, down and up, down and up, slip, power, beautiful. You can feel it in the rhythm. Now use your breath, so exhale as you strike. Keep looking at these targets. And as you get down, you've got to get the shoulders out the way. You know you've got to take the hips down so the butt's in line with the back of the knee. Look above your head. Boom, double the punch. Awesome. Uppercut. Now here comes a power cross. Straight line. Every time you hit the targets, whether above your head, whether it's from the back arm or the front arm, it doesn't matter. Let's hit the front, the center, every single time. The middle of the target, so they absolutely explode. We're going to bring pace to finish. Here it comes. Let's go. Pace, 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 pace. Power shot. Beautiful. Good work. Okay, guys, so the gym was a bit busier than normal. I seem to have got the same interest I normally get. So no new takers today. I think I might need to do this in a more public place. So I'm looking into going somewhere a bit more public with a Quest 3 to see if we get anybody interested in the Apple Vision Pro release. Now, for those of you interested in the fitness side of VR, and um, when I checked my fitness watch at the end of my VR session, I'd actually burnt 350 calories. So a 20 minute session, boxing in VR, 350 calories burned. And that's about the same as what you get doing 20 minutes on the row machine or the uh, bicycle machine. To be honest with you guys, it's a lot more fun passing the times in VR than on the treadmill. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.